Welcome to Susquehanna Express Part 2 with Jerry Reist, Secretary of the General Conference of the United Methodist Church. General Conference itself is one of those only times that all of us can get together at one place and hear all of the different perspectives. Um, however, you've said that sometimes you hear frustrations about how General Conference works and what gets accomplished there. Uh, would you like to speak to that? Well, yeah, this General Conference especially, people were very frustrated because the grand reorganization of the church that was proposed failed, uh, was declared unconstitutional, and, and issues dealing with clergy effectiveness and the ability to uh, end the process of guaranteed appointment failed because of unconstitutional issues. People came out of it, and I've heard a number of people saying, well, nothing was accomplished, but that's not the reality. That perception of failure comes because people have a very limited idea of what General Conference is. General Conference is the only time that delegates from around the world come together to speak on behalf of the church. Mm -hmm. It's also the only time when that body has an opportunity to get acquainted with each other, to share together, mm -hmm. to worship together, to be the people of God together. And, and that is a high value in the church. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not uh, a government organization where the only thing we think that matters is how many taxes we can raise or what, how many troops we can put out. We, we are a church. So the relationships that are established at General Conference are vital. But some of the other things that go into why people grow frustrated come back to a lack of, of appreciation of who we are. In the history of our denomination, our predecessor denominations, General Conference usually met for a month or more. <laughs> and that was when we had two to three hundred delegates, all of whom were white males, all of whom spoke English, and all of whom had an American background. Right. Now that we're a global church with men and women from various cultures and a multitude of languages, we think we can do it in 10 days. General conference needs to be a time when relationships are formed, and out of that formation of relationships comes a new perspective and new opportunities. The great weakness of general conference is that we want to do in 10 days. We've got the American disease. Mm -hmm. We want get to do, <laughs> get it done. We, fast food, fast general conference, fast everything, and not appreciate what else happens. Because for some people, the only product of general conference is the book of discipline and the book of resolutions, and nothing else matters. Well, those are products of general conference, but there's a lot that matters that's not concrete. And those relationships that are formed, the trust levels that are built, the opportunities to share, to sing, to praise God, to pray together. You can't put a, a dollar value on those. Absolutely. It sounds like um, General Conference really is living out our United Methodist mission that we do want to make disciples for the transformation of the world, that we are all coming together and, and sharing opinions of how we can do that. Uh, what are your hopes of the next our General Conference? General Conference itself, I'm hoping that will be the time when they say we're going to go outside the U.S. for General Conference because that's a step that's necessary if we're going to be a global church. Mm -hmm. We'll have to reach the point where we don't say it's not General Conference if it's not in one of the jurisdictional conferences. It's got to go outside the U.S. at some point if we're going to be global. If we're going to take the other choice and become a national church, then that's another matter. But if we want to be a global church, at some point we have to meet outside the U.S. So that's one of my dreams. One, one of my dreams is, is also that we will, my successor will be chosen, and that person will be someone who will be carrying forward the ministry and mission of the church in building up the ability of the church to work together. And the role of the secretary of the General Conference is really very unique in this regard. It is the one person in the whole church whose only portfolio is the whole church. <laughs> and, and so when, when I travel, people look to me as a representative of the church. Mm. 
even in a different way than they look at bishops as representatives of the church. And that representational role is one that helps draw the church together. And so I, I'm looking forward to, to my successor being named and being able to work with that person to, to move on to that role as well. I'm also hoping that we'll build into the budget the training, the orientation for Central Conference delegates. Because when I did the first, the first training events in 2007 and 2008, that wasn't in the budget. Hmm. I knew that General Board of Global Ministries and General Board of Church and Society were going to do events. And I went to the, the general secretaries and I said, would you mind taking me along, paying my way, and giving me time in your program so that I can do this training because there is no budget for it. Uh, they both said yes. That's Which great. Really remarkable. You know, people say that general agencies don't work together. They work together all the time, and they work together very effectively and very graciously. They took me along. They allowed me. I was supposedly going to do a two-hour thing. I ended up doing a two-day thing because that was what the delegates wanted. Hmm. And, and we did that in four different locations, so it was a, it was a growing thing. 2000. 12 general conference preparations, the, the connectional table built that into their budget, but it still isn't built into the budget of general conference. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that eventually we'll recognize that if we're going to do it, it's, that at least a portion of that should be built into the general conference budget as one of the costs of doing general conference so that my successor can do that without having to go hat in hand begging right. <laughs> somebody else for permission to do it. Right. Well, I thank you so much for your insights and um, just for all that you've done as as the secretary for, of the General Conference and for trying to help all of the global church to feel included. Um, and if you would like to learn more about General Conference, you can check out my blog at susquehannaexpress.blogspot.com.